Hey, it's Dr. Harris here. Very serious today. We're doing procedures today. I thought I would use our pulse oximeter to just show you how um, masks, because we're using masks today in our practice, even though the prevalence in New South Wales of COVID is incredibly low, it's just becoming increasingly um, a precautionary matter because we see we're protecting other people from COVID, even though you just don't know now, are you that one person in, you know, 10,000 that's got it, didn't know about it, and then spreading it around and becoming the centre of a cluster? So particularly in medical settings, particularly to, I guess, good example to everyone. So in the hospitals now, and they are local hospitals, uh, we're wearing masks around uh, patients and, and basically everywhere in, in, the, in the hospital. Um, it hasn't become mandatory in New South Wales to wear a mask, but it, it may well as unknown source cases go up. It's a tricky one because we're trying to preserve masks for use in medical settings where it's absolutely necessary for protection against patients that are known to have COVID. And, you know, the whole production is ramping up, but it's not actually keeping up with the use. In the big private hospital I work in, they're burning through 25,000, 30,000 masks a week. So it's it's incredible to try and keep up with that. They've, they're basically thrown out and uh, nobody's really figured a way of recycling them in any proper way. So I just wanted to show you, here's the um, my oximetry while I've been talking to you. It's hitting, well, I don't know if you can read that, but it's 98%, which isn't bad. My heart rate's 80. I've just had a couple of coffees, so that's probably why. But I want to put the mask on now and just show you how devastating that is to my oxygen levels. Not. So I'm going to make it really tight. I've got a tape up the top there. Sorry, because it gets fog, fogs up my glasses if I don't tape it up there. So it's really... You know, it's it's um, it's on. The mask is on. But what has done? What has my oximetry done? People are saying that that this lowers oximetry. But oh, it's gone up to ninety nine. Ninety nine percent. My heart rate is going down because I'm more relaxed. That I'm not spreading COVID around, and I'm doing okay now. People are saying, oh, you know, going to make mistakes because the CO2 is building up inside the mask. And it's all these bizarre, weird things. I mean, I've been using masks for surgery for a long time. I haven't made too many mistakes. I've done maybe 40, 50, 60,000 operations with masks on. I don't haven't made too many mistakes. So either my CO2 levels are pretty normal with a mask on or, you know, I'm just lucky. But... Um, I'm going to do a bit of, people say, oh, when you do activity, like if you're just sitting there, you know, so I'm going to just jog on the spot a bit and we'll see how my oxygen levels go with that. So jogging, jogging, jogging next to my pulse oximeter. I, you know, I could have a heart attack. Anything could happen here, but I'm just going to check my oximeter. Oh, I've dropped to 97, 96. Oh, Jesus. 97, back up to 97. So anything between 94 and 99 or 100 is good you're gonna survive you've got plenty of oxygen to live on so i just want to prove to you with all that activity that my oxygen levels have stayed at 98 my heart rate's gone up to 88 because i've done some physical exercise and i am bloody unfit so there you go masks do not affect oxygen levels so there's no there's no medical reason not to wear masks we're not actually really protecting ourselves. We're stopping spluttering aerosolization of virus if we've got it, spreading it to other people. So it's all about loving and caring for other people in our society. So, you know, I think low threshold for wearing a mask when the prevalence becomes high in our, in our society. So keep, um, keep your social distance. That's, that's really important. Minimise your activity outside. Minimise your gathering with large crowds. Until we get a vaccine, guys, just stay cool, stay calm. Keep the numbers low. Keep the death rate low. Uh, you know, we've lost 160 plus people in Australia and 
it's just shocking to us. So you, where you've got high numbers, where you've lost a hundred and what is it, 145, 146,000 people, don't take that for granted. You can slow that down. You can slow the death rate down in America and in South, you know, in, the, in, the, in the Latin America as well by by doing these basic things. And don't be afraid of it. It's just you just got to normalize this. It's not any conspiracy it's science and just stick to it it's good science is good